what if we have multiple authors? Well, that, in that case, of course, you have each author you want to list their name, but if you have three or more authors, then you can use at all. This sounds familiar, doesn't it? Because in APA, we do something similar to that. However, in MLA, the first time you cite, you don't need to write them all out. The very first time in your paper, you can use at all. So in this example, Kanzangu et al. found a link between these two variables. Kanzangu et al. also found a number of moderating variables. So again, first time is okay, same as second time. But in APA, that's a different rule. Verdict et al. 42. What is 42? That's the page number where this information was taken from. What about two, two or more works from different authors? That is, that you have two different research papers from two different people. How do we put them together in a sentence? Let's take a look. While reading may be the core of literacy, literacy can be complete only when reading is accompanied by writing. So here we have Barron, 194, Jacob, 55. What's the key separator? Right here we have a semicolon. Remember, semicolon, no space before, one space after. So here we have Baron space 194. What is that? Page number. Jacobs, 55. What is that? Page number. So that's how you put them together. Co-authors include both last names. So in this case, we have two authors on the same paper, Doris and Edric. That's two. Remember, if we have three or more, we're going to use et al. What is that? That is your age number.